Of course, CNBC will bring you full coverage of the Fed decision later this afternoon. Um, hasn't hiked by more than 25 uh, since 2000, Jim. We had a lone 75 hike in the 94-95 cycle. Right. It's interesting. There was some research out today which said the 95 post cycle, the banks outperformed, which meant that you finally got the short rates up. They, get, they paid you almost nothing in your checking account. They got to keep a lot of money. Uh, that would be a, actually a godsend. Because I think then you get all these people who believe that the Fed is impotent off their backs. People would start getting scared that perhaps they're going to miss a stock rally because what's going to happen is they may actually tackle uh, inflation correctly. David, I think that there's a perception right now that Jay Powell has lost control of the situation. Mm -hmm. And I say, don't you dare take on Jay Powell like that. You're still a believer. I am. You think he's got it under control. I think that it's within his ability to both tighten but say, I'm not going to just do this gigantic roll off of bonds. Right. And that might cause kind of a, you know, a decent rally. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. I have somebody this what morning do you say, do we rally at the Fed because people are terrified? <laughs> David's got something going here. People are terrified. But that kind of a rally doesn't usually have legs. Only if you see, like the piece we had this morning about freight coming down, only if you see that we, we have a, a series of commodities go down that have been intractable. But you, look, I saw a piece today which says that <laughs> it was pretty attenuated. I admit. Amazon's not doing well, so Amazon won't build as many uh, warehouses. They're 7% of the steel, so therefore steel goes down, and that takes care of steel. Now, I mean... You know, hip bone connected to the leg bone, but I know. But at the same time, it does get back to sort of demand, or at least this creation of overcapacity that that resulted from the pandemic right. surge. It's funny because I missed the Amazon I'm quarter. I'm I pulled this. You'd be on my side. I pulled this from the conference call. It's just so funny how you think because I wanted to make sure I, I looked at Amazon more closely in terms of. It was pretty extraordinary, Jim, when Amazon said that uh, we have too much labor. Um, Ready-made labor, truck drivers. I, I, our reaction to it was in an uncertain labor environment. A lot of people were out on leave. We hired more people and then found ourselves overstaffed. Why are you the only other person who mentioned that? I mean, I read that and I said, here comes the layoffs. Good call. A person who drives for Amazon gets laid off. Well, that's going to be a surplus truck driver which means that a lot of people who are worried about truck drivers are suddenly going to have truck drivers. They're going to be from Amazon, well-trained. So we have certain, my old friend Larry Kudlow would always say the green.